What's up guys, this is Tampa Tech and I'm gonna show you how to waterproof your car key fob. This is very useful, especially if your dealer charges you $400 for um, the remote and programming. If you know anyone that may be interested in this video, click on the share button and share this video to them, help someone out. So now I'm gonna make it waterproof, hopefully. Now I got this idea from, I think it was Great Scott um, he had like three ways to waterproof electronics. Uh, I'll leave that link in the video description below. Give him some credit. Let's go ahead and take it apart first. So I'm going to remove the key and then you put it right there in the slot. There's a little a middle point and you can just twist and then pop it open. And that's how you replace the battery. Now, of course, you can't waterproof the contact for the battery and the contacts for the button. So keep that in mind. And we're gonna be waterproofing this side and this side. And we're gonna be using this clear coat for your um, nails. <laughs> it's my wife's actually. And so you don't wanna um, put the clear coat on the contacts right here and here, the spring. And there's a leaf spring right here. You wanna avoid that. But I am gonna put a clear coat on that center base that you see. I'm gonna wait about like 30 minutes and see if uh, it's dry enough to put it in the water. Hopefully I'll protect it. All right, so the moment of truth is here. Let's go ahead and put it together. Feels pretty dry to me. Go ahead and put the battery in. Yeah, so it looks like it's working. But let's see if it works in the water. So I'm gonna put this together. I think it goes this way. Close it up. All right, I'm a little nervous. I hope I didn't break, this is 400 bucks. I'm really nervous actually. Screw it, For all for the sake of the video. Oh man, I don't wanna do it. <laughs> I don't know, should I put this in? You know what, I'll just put it in, who cares? All right, so I'm gonna put it in and hit the button and see if it does it. Oops. Yeah. You can see that. Can you see the LED? Holy crap, it freaking works. That's awesome. If you ever do get one of these wet and you drop it in a puddle or something, um, best thing to do is take it all apart immediately and like that, just take it all apart immediately and dry it out. Uh, you, uh, you can use a, a hair dryer or a towel or something like that. And then if you see any water residue, make sure you use rubbing alcohol and a brush and clean off the water residue. 
and then let it dry for probably maybe like 15 minutes using a hair dryer and then put it back together and uh, it should work after that. I, I've done that with a phone. But I highly recommend getting one of these as a skin for your fob and that's just gonna protect it a lot better. And when you get the skin for your fob, make sure um, you get the ones that um, don't have an opening here. It's all sealed right here on the buttons. All right, so that's how you know it's working. I can hear the car beeping outside. So I'm gonna stick it in the water. And it looks, yeah, it works. It's all the way in the water. Awesome. And I don't see any bubbling or anything else. It looks pretty good. See, let me turn on the light and show you. That's crazy. That's amazing. Clear coat, nail polish. It's for men too. So if you guys found this video informative, give me a big thumbs up. If you want more how-to videos coming your way, click on the subscribe link right here or down below. And if you know anyone this video will help, go ahead and click on the share button below, share this video to them, help someone out. And check out my other uh, car tech videos um, on my playlist right here. Thanks guys for watching.